Please be aware, in this podcast series, we talk about all areas of safeguarding, which some people may find upsetting. So please make sure you're okay listening to today's topic. Be mindful of those around you, such as children, that you might not want to listen in. Hi, I'm SSS Safeguarding Director Sam Preston. And I'm former head teacher and content author Sarah Spinks. So today, Sarah, we're talking about artificial intelligence, AI. Now, I'm just going to go out there and say, you know, I know a bit about this, but I'm certainly not an expert. Um, But I think it'd be fair to say um, AI's very quickly become an integral element in the modern world. It's already revolutionising, you know, sectors, you know, like the health sector, finance, entertainment. and now AI is making significant strides in education. I mean, it's promising to transform how we teach and learn. We can't ignore that AI brings challenges that need to be addressed, um, you know, to ensure really safe and effective implementation, which we'll look at. But first, can we look at what opportunities, if any, AI offers the education sector? Well, it's really interesting because the Department of Education has taken proactive steps to explore the possibilities of AI, you know, through various initiatives in their October 23 policy paper, which is called Generative Artificial Intelligence AI in Education. And that can be accessed at the gov.uk site, you know, such as initiating a call for evidence to gather insights from educational professionals, academics, and the ed tech sector regarding the use of AI, particularly generative AI. So I think for listeners, we should just um, sort of clarify what we mean by generative AI. Now, as I said, I'm no expert, but my understanding is that traditional AI demands um, sort of logical reasoning. It's a rule-based decision-making system that looks and and recognises patterns Whilst generative AI, that focuses on creativity. It's got that innovative capacity to create original content. Yeah, so you can give AI a prompt and that can be text, images, videos, etc. And the algorithms then apparently will produce new content. So in essence, I could submit some text into a generative AI product say, ask it to write me an article on a subject, and it'll produce content that would be brand new with no signs of plagiarism. Yeah, and I've run a few tests just to see, A, how good the content was, and B, to test for plagiarism using a leading plagiarism checker package. I have to say, you know, the samples, you know, they were pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, I've I've looked at it as well, and I, I would say the only thing I'd say, however, is that From reviewing it, um, there isn't yet the ability to kind of reflect a stance, you know, an opinion. I suppose what I would say as an author, you don't get a sense of the author's voice. But, you know, I'm sure that'll come. So let's get back to focusing on the education sector and, and the DfE insights. What were the AI positives revealed in their paper? Well, interestingly, responses revealed optimism about AI's potential to reduce administrative tasks, which, let's face it, would all welcome. But interestingly, there was also optimism about how AI may personalise support for learners. And in fact, two-day hackathon. A A hackathon? What on earth is a hackathon? Well, they're a kind of social coding event where programmers and in this case, teachers, school leaders and data scientists uh, collaborate on building and developing software programs. And this one was aimed at addressing real life challenges in education, such as teacher workload. And the outcomes of this event are expected to inform future strategies in AI implementation. OK, so reducing workload, we could all do with that. Any other positives? Well, the DfE has also allocated funds to support Oak National Academy, the online learning platform, in integrating AI-powered features like lesson planners and quizzes. 
So uh, the Oak National Academy, that's the platform that we all know from the COVID-19 period, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's a hub of a huge variety of teaching resources. Now, according to the DfV, this investment will aim to provide teachers with innovative resources to enhance their teaching effectiveness. And the focus is on empowering teachers with AI. One of the primary objectives of leveraging AI in education is to alleviate the burden on teachers and empower them to focus on impactful teaching practices. You know, with tools to help teachers save time and streamline their workflows by automated administrative tasks and providing virtual assistance, as well as AI-powered platforms, which can analyze student data, provide personalized learning experiences tailored to individual needs. AI aimed at enhancing student outcomes, really. Gosh. Okay, but just to clarify, the DfE sees these AI resources as advantages to complement rather than replace teachers, yeah? And that, so, the, you know, the human element of teaching, including empathy, creativity and critical thinking, that remains indispensable in education. Absolutely, definitely. Okay, so what about pupils? What are the pros and cons? Well, there's a great opportunity to use AI to enhance their learning experiences. There's no doubt AI could enrich their learning journeys and foster academic growth, for example, through personalised tutoring, for example. AI-driven tutoring systems can adapt to each student's pace and learning style, offering targeted assistance and feedback, and also bespoke learning plans. So AI algorithms can analyse student performance data and generate customised learning plans, you know, guiding students toward academic success. However, concerns regarding students' potential misuse of AI tools, such as cheating on assignments or exams, or highlight that need really for proactive measures, you know, to address ethical considerations and maintain academic integrity. So whilst the potential benefits of AI in education are vast, there are challenges to navigate. And from a safeguarding point of view, we have to ensure safety. Absolutely. Yeah, it's essential to acknowledge and address the associated risks and challenges. For example, content accuracy and bias. You know, AI generated content may lack accuracy, exhibit bias or propagate misinformation. Rigorous oversight and validation mechanisms are necessary to ensure the quality and integrity of educational materials. We have to be mindful of data privacy and security. Safeguarding sensitive student data from unauthorised access or misuse is paramount. Educational institutions must adhere to stringent data protection regulations, implement robust cyber security measures you know, to mitigate risks. And then there's also the intellectual property rights. You know, students' intellectual property rights must be respected and consent, uh, the consent should be obtained before utilising their work to train AI models. You know, the clear guidelines and legal frameworks are absolutely essential to uphold ethical standards in the AI usage. Yeah, so it's clear AI will undoubtedly reshape the education landscape and it will be imperative to equip pupils with the knowledge and skills to navigate this evolving technological landscape effectively. We're going to need to focus on digital literacy, that's educating students about AI capabilities, limitations and ethical implications, fostering you know, responsible usage and critical thinking. We're going to have to think about information literacy, you know, teaching students, you know, how to evaluate and discern credible sources of information in the digital age, how that cultivates informed decision making and media literacy. And I'm also thinking about computational thinking, you know, developing foundational computational skills, enabling students to leverage AI tools effectively and harness that technology for problem solving and innovation. Absolutely. You know, integrating AI into education holds immense promise for revolutionising teaching and learning practices, you know, unlocking the opportunities for personalised instruction and academic en enrichment. However, realising this potential requires a balanced approach that addresses ethical privacy and equality concerns, you know, while empowering educators and students to harness the transformative power of AI responsibly. By embracing innovation whilst upholding educational values, we can create a future where AI enhances rather than diminishes the quality and accessibility of education for all. 
Okay, that's food for thought. As we enter the age of AI and education, we really mustn't forget that it's our human qualities that truly matter. Although technology can clearly help us learn better, it's a kindness and curiosity and resilience that shape who we are. So I guess what I'm saying is let's use AI to make learning exciting and accessible, but always remembering what makes us uniquely human. Absolutely.